Well, after a three-year absence, he's had his pavement stamp once again to cross the Nullarbor. I caught up with champion WA race caller, Darren McCauley. Well, Darren, great to catch up with you once again, but I can't believe we allowed you back in. Well, I can't understand why not, Mick. <laughs> it's been a while, actually, too long, but looking forward to the Miracle Mile tonight, of course, and uh, the new tree and standard bread yearling sale tomorrow out at Riverside. So Let's have a chat about the Miracle Mile. It was once a very good race for WA paces. Yeah, they had a dream run, you know, back in, what, 71 Mount Eden, and Mount Eden had his very first start at my hometown track in Kalgoorlie back in 1969 and uh, was beaten at his first ever start and then he won his next run there and of course he went on to as uh, they always say equine immortality but uh, that 71 uh, miracle mile was something else and i know that john tap regards it as one of the best performances that he's ever seen standard bread or thoroughbred then we had a great run royal force and uh, you know later years pro chevalier village kid norm's daughter has won it as well there have been a host of them so it's been a good race but it's been a while since we've been able to win one How'd you handle the COVID? Yeah, pretty good actually. We didn't really notice it all that much over at WA, Mick, to be truthful. Um, we were very fortunate because of our isolation, uh, uniquely placed that we are, but uh, you know, pretty much everything went on as per normal. There were a couple of weeks, I think, where we had to stay at home, but we were going to the races with our crowds for quite a while. But by and large, really, I think we got through pretty well, all things considered. And how was the vote? Pretty close about becoming another country? Yeah, nearly. <laughs> yeah, we nearly uh, seceded from the rest of the nation, that's for sure. But look, it's a, it's a great place, the West. Um, it was very well managed, I think, by Mark McGowan and, and the government over there, uh, the health authorities. I mean, really, given the fact that industry kept on turning over and there was very little lockdown other than maybe two week periods, that was about it. So uh, the, the wheels of industry kept on rolling, mate. And Darren, since I last saw you, you're taking up a musical career. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a career, it's a hobby. <laughs> yeah, I picked up playing a bit of guitar during the COVID period, you know, and I thought, well, it was something that I've wanted to do since I was about 17. So I, I probably left my run about 43 years too late, but it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. and. Uh, I get a bit of guitar envy though when I see good guitarists play. Well, you've been strumming me along for the past few years. <laughs> Stringing everyone along doing this. You yeah. mentioned you're here for the sales as well. Yeah, mate, we are. New Tree have got a great catalogue uh, tomorrow at Riverside at Inglis's. Um, and there's a, a lot of established stallions the Captain Fretchesses, the Sweet Lou's, the, the, you know, the Western sort of uh, ideals. They're, they're all flying. Um, and then you've got the freshman size, like the horse we saw win a New South Wales Derby, Poster Boy, uh, getting his first draft coming along, and they're, they're good types too. There's a lot of newcomers in, in the siring ranks, so I think that's exciting. There's been a lot of people looking at them at, at the complex as well, yesterday and today in particular, so I think the breeders have really done a wonderful job. They've prepared their horses as good as you could imagine. Uh, I think the, uh, the catalogue's strong. Um, and there'd be something there for everyone. For every budget, there's a buyer. I know that. Talking about uh, a buzz, there's a lot of buzz here tonight. A wonderful crowd, and the uh, it's certainly the atmosphere is electric as we build towards the Miracle Mile. Yeah, well, it's one of the great races, isn't it? You know, on our national landscape, whether it be thoroughbred or harness, the Miracle Mile has always been the race that captured everyone's attention, and uh, the superstars of our game have won it over the years. So it's a great addition this year. It's a, it's a pretty even one too, but there's. Um, there's a fair bit to unfold, isn't there, in the Miracle Mile this year. I'm looking forward to it. Um, Billy and Ann Anderson have got Honolulu Bay in it. I'd love to see it run a big race for them. They've been great breeders in Australian harness racing, and I know that they'd be excited to win this one. Well, Darren, it's great to see you back on the East Coast. Yeah, good on you, Mick. Thanks, mate.